Welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. This is another video tutorial of Photoshop Element 6. I had a comment a while ago about replacing or changing hair color. Now the way I showed you how to change color in the past episode was pretty dramatic and um, used a way of picking out a solid color using a fuzziness range. But on this episode I wanted to show you how to change hair color using a brush tool. Now the brush tool is right over here. You'd right click on top of this, on top of your brushes, and you pick out color replacement tool. Once you pick a color replacement tool, you'll notice up here there's a brush size, different modes, color, hue, saturation, and luminosity. We're working with color today. Now here you have sampling continuous. That's what we want to do. We want to take a continuous color because everywhere we sample on this color we're going to change it. Here we have sample once which means it samples the color one time. And over here we have sampling of a background swash. We're going to use continuous. Now your limits are either continuous or discontinuous. Keep that set to continuous. And your tolerance, we can drop this tolerance down just a little bit to about 20%. If I can get it to go there. There we go, 20%. <coughs> Excuse me. Now what we want to do is we're going to pick out a color for the hair. Now this is the background color and the foreground color. Click on the foreground color. And we're going to make his hair darker. We're going to make it more of a black color. Now with that done, now we can just start drawing over top of the hair and actually start painting. And what you're doing here, you're actually just changing the hair color. Now if you go outside the hair, it's going to change the color of anything else behind it. So be pretty careful when you're doing this. It's almost more like uh, tinting hair. But then I thought, you know, there's a few reasons why you'd want to do this. One, if somebody has gray hair, I guess, you can color over it. Two, if somebody actually has, um, you want to get your hair colored and you're not sure if the color you're choosing is going to be the color you actually want. So you can look at your hair in different styles. Once we get it outlined here with the smaller brush, What we're going to do at that point is we're going to go up here to our brush size and raise this diameter up. Just pull it up there. Get yourself a bigger brush size. And then it makes it a lot quicker to go in the center of the hair. Just like this. We're going to just work right in here and get the hair color changed. Just like we're doing here. And you may have to work a few times to get the hair different colors, but you got the general idea. Now her hair is actually more of a black color. There you go. It's more of a black color. Now I also thought, what else would this uh, tool be good for? This tool could be good for uh, using it to change people's uh, clothing, change the color of their clothing. Let's bring up this picture here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this blue dress and I thought we would go down here we're going to change the color again this blue dress I thought we would make it more of a yellow let's go pretty yellow again get a smaller brush size first so we can kind of outline it so we can kind of be careful and stay with inside the lines and as you know about the YouTube 10 minute time limits so I'm kind of working fast here, but take your time when you're doing these color changes. So you can stay within the lines and uh, watch what you're actually coloring. And uh, we're going to go through here. Just coloring down here. Kind of highlighting everything out. Bring it back up here. Go up around this arm. 
and then go around this area. Once you get it highlighted in, once again, go ahead and change your brush size. Change the diameter of the brush. There we go. Let's change the brush size. And just start coloring it in. And it doesn't matter with this tool if you go over it too many times. It's not going to make it any darker like a paintbrush would. Um, it's just replacing the color basically and just offsetting the color. And notice where the plus sign is. That plus sign is actually where we're painting. Not on the circled part. Just on the uh, actual plus sign. You know, as I said, this could be a lot better, but you're getting a general idea and a general uh, way of doing things here with this tool. Takes a little time to get used to the tool. have it. Now you took that blue dress and you made it sort of an off green color I guess. I tried to get as much yellow as I could but it kind of blends with the underlying color there a little bit and uh, you got more of a green type dress so it's uh, pretty interesting. And you just color all this in. And there you have it. Now the dress went from blue to more of a green style. Okay, well I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to change hair color. I'm going to uh, mark this as that. But I just wanted to show you another use for the tool. Um, you can also use it to do other kind of painting uh, or objects. Let's minimize this down. Um, and i got a few minutes here, so let's take this. Let's go down here. That brick, if you want to change it from red, I mean from a white color to a more red brick color, you can also do that. You start painting over it. You see how it doesn't hide. If, you, if we used a regular paint bucket, it would actually make a thick coat of paint over there, and it would actually hide it. So you see what I'm doing. I'm just going over this, and you can see that it actually changes the brick color to a different color. So you can actually redo your house and change the color of it. And see how it would look maybe to do this in a room to see how paint would look on a certain wall take a picture of a wall and then you can actually paint it and that's it i hope you uh enjoyed this tutorial and um come back next time for another video tutorial i'm still accepting uh, the donations so if you get a shot uh, throw a donation into paypal uh, i'm trying to raise enough money to get the new photoshop element 7 so I can start creating you video tutorials in Photoshop Elements 7. So if you're a 7 user, you're enjoying the 6 videos, drop a little donation in. Every little bit helps. We're getting closer to our goal. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to the channel. I'll see you back here very soon. Take care, keep the editors editing, and those cameras clicking. Bye for now.